Hey, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you something really cool with pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. I want to make a pivot table, but the pivot table is going to be based on multiple worksheets. So here's the first thing you need to do. I have a list of reps that work at our company. Rep 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then there's our information. So I'm going to click in here one time. And just to show you this, if you hit the name box, it only says B1 because I'm in B1. I'm going to convert it to a table, which is Control T. Now, after you convert to a table, you hit OK. Don't worry about the filter arrows if you want to get rid of them. Let's get rid of them for a second. But here's what that did. Now when I click here, that made it table 1 right there. Now, once again, I've got rep number. I'm going to go to the orders that our customers put in. And if you look over in column K, I've got the rep numbers, 0, 1 through 0, 4, depending on the customer. And I do want to point one other item out. I called it rep, and I did this intentionally, in K1. And back here, it is rep number in A1. So I'm going to go back here, and I've got to do another table. If you don't like Control-T, Insert Table, but Control-T is just easy. Hit OK. And once again, I'm going to just turn off the filters. So here we go. Now, when I click the arrow, I've got two tables. I'm going to go to the Insert tab and make a pivot table. New worksheet sounds perfect. You have to check this box at the bottom or it doesn't work. Click OK. Notice it says Table 2, and if I collapse and expand it, that's pretty cool. I'm on the word Active. Click the word All, and it picked up the other table automatically. So now what I need to do is I'm going to expand them both. I'm up here on Pivot Table Tools, Analyze, Relationships, New, Pick Table 2, Pick Table 1. In case you're wondering which one's the primary key, the first table that I made, let me cancel this just for a second, close, back here, that's your primary key. I'm on the rep worksheet because rep one, two, three, and four are listed just one time. But yet over here, one rep can have many customers. So that's why this one's primary. So let me go back to the pivot table now. Analyze, relationships, new. I'm sorry about that, I should have had that ready to be explained earlier. So primary was rep number, and I'm going to match it to rep. So I'm saying rep number in one worksheet is equal to rep in the other. Click OK. Click Close. I'm good to go. So now what I can do, because I'm trying to figure out the total for every rep, Back in Table 1, full name, there are my reps. Back in Table 2, it's going to be something numeric. Invoice amount. Perfect. That is how you relate tables. So Step 1, Step one was to make each range a table with control T. The next step is when you create your pivot table, make sure you check this box here. So after you make them tables, you got to check that box, hit OK. And then from there, you go to the word all and you set up your relationships. So anyway, that's how you join worksheets in Microsoft Excel. If you need instructor led training, or you want to take my online training course, just send me a message and I'll send you a coupon. Thank you.